Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. Today we're going to talk about so-called windshield wiper. It's this movement. We're going to look into this movement and see if it really helps us or we can live without it or maybe it even makes our shot a little bit worse. I think we can all agree on the fact that the further we hit away from our body, the harder we can hit. So as we can see in the windshield wiper motion, the elbow is really tucked in. Usually I think it's because of the lack of strength when people try to hit and they don't have much power so they keep their arm really close to the body and the ball comes really hard and they want to finish the stroke so they try to kind of like get the racket over here faster. I mean move the racket head through the ball which is a kind of a good intention but if you don't use your upper body rotation and if you don't move the arm further away from your body you won't be able to produce a harder shot. It's the same both on forehands and backhands and actually uh, the windshield wiper might only work if the ball is really close to you and coming right at you. Sometimes players hit like that, but that's not like their best shots. It's maybe emergency shots or when they got caught off guard, like we can see this motion. But if a player has time to set up, to actually set up, then they would prefer to have the ball further away from their body to be able to swing through it. Now there are two really big disadvantages of the windshield wiper is that the arm is shortened and you can't hit as hard and the second thing is that you can't get on top of the ball because if you swing like this and your elbow stops here your racket only goes up here right so you can only hit the ball from under you can kind of like scratch it a little bit or, or lift it up but you cannot move through the ball and get on top of it especially if the ball is higher you're hitting in a higher contact point right so these are the main disadvantages of the windshield wiper forehand which is like this all right so we if we look at the biomechanics of the forehand of the way to produce power we're pulling the arm out with our upper body rotation and if we do so the arm moves way further away from our body all the way with the elbow finishing higher up here. So if you tuck the elbow in and you go just with your racket head, that means that you're hitting right now only with your forearm. You're not actually hitting through the ball as much, right? So think about it. Um, this motion does not give you any additional spin because the additional spin comes from under the ball here and from again the rotation of your upper body forward and a little bit like tilting where you first lower the shoulder and then you bring it up by pulling the other shoulder down. So we try to keep our arms kind of relaxed. It's not the arms don't really have like a passive motion but if you can Think about it of a, of a way that the upper body moves the arm. But your arm has to be strong enough to support the full motion, right? So like you have to hold on to the racket tight so that the ball doesn't hit your racket out of your hand. But the main idea is that your upper body gives you that strength and power to hit through the ball. So if, again, we look at the windshield wiper, the elbow gets tucked in that's it there's no more upper body rotation like if I want to now rotate I, I can only do this right and then I end up here so how hard can I hit that's why I personally call it like a t-rex arms where the arms are really close together and like somebody plays like this that's definitely I mean that's definitely not something that you want to do you can get the balls in like that Yes, you can probably give like a little bit of topspin, like scratch the ball in a way, but never hit through it. And you won't reach your potential playing like that. So when you're playing, try to extend your arm. Obviously, the more you extend it, 
the harder it is to control the shot. So you, that doesn't mean that you have to go completely straight like some pro players do. You can keep your arm bent a little bit, but make sure that your elbow does not get tucked into your body. And make sure that your racket does go up. This is a little misconception. Like people think that the windshield wiper, like this movement gives you top spin and uh, makes the finish, like the follow through of the whole shot. Yes, the racket does move up on the ball and does go on the, like a similar trajectory like a windshield wiper but that motion is caused by different muscles and is way way bigger like you have to do it basically with your arm by moving through the ball all the way and then finishing it off because here here you can also see this is it is similar to a windshield wiper but it, it is not the same not the same as when you tuck in your elbow and just go around yourself. Unfortunately, I've seen a lot of kids playing with the windshield wiper and I think that is because of the lack of strength that they're trying to hit harder than they can. So they're trying to use everything they possibly can come up with to try to hit the ball harder or trying to deal with the harder shot that comes at them because if the ball comes really hard, they want to like tuck in their arms to stay more compact that way they can deal with the pace so my recommendation is like try to build your technique first and try to get the correct biomechanics going and as you get the right movement on a slower pace because if the ball comes slower to you it's easier to swing through you're not under so much pressure like i, I mean during practice obviously right and then as you do the right motion, you will become stronger in your arm. It will not be as stressful for you to hit harder the right way. And then you will never have to fix anything, any bad habits and so on. So don't try to like jump uh, to play with a speed that you still can't handle. Try to play with even lower pace. But in that case, I mean the balls that are fed to you, right? So try to play with a lower pace so that you can control and do everything perfectly and correct. And then as you do so, you slowly but surely, you increase the pace and you just get used to it and then you don't have to think about it anymore. You won't even have a question of doing anything wrong when you go out to play. So in the end, it's up to you. You can play with your elbow tucked in and just uh, keep it with more control, less power and somehow grind it out or you can try to move your arm a little bit further away from you, hit better shots, hit winners left and right, and just elevate your game. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon.